Hey everyone, so in the previous videos I showed you how to add a background playlist to your Articulate Storyline project files, as well as the various uh, playlist and slide related settings that are associated with the background playlist functionality. Now today I wanted to talk about two different things. Uh, one is the um, background playlist volume variable, and then the other thing is how to use triggers to customize the um, background playlist volume slide to slide. So here's our background playlist that we created. We've got two, uh, two tracks. They fade in and out uh, as they transition from one to the next. They loop. Um, and then if we have audio on our individual slides, the background audio volume is set to lower 50% when the slide audio plays. And then also um, the background audio is set to pause when video content is playing on a given slide. And so let's look at first how we can, let's, let's look first at the variable. So let's get out of that. And if we go to manage project variables, and then you're going to toggle from project to built in, and we're going to scroll down. These are all the built in variables in Storyline 360. So we're scrolling down and then all of a sudden I see player background volume. It's a number variable and it's set to 100. Now there are a couple things here. So the default is 100. However, if you want background audio um, and you don't want to have to use triggers to control the volume, all you have to do is define the volume here. So if we change this from say 100% to 50%, that is going to be the volume throughout your project. So we're going to leave it at uh, 100 right now, but if you wanted to make a global change, I would recommend you come into the manage project variables and you just set the number uh, to the volume you would like it to carry across your project. So we're gonna get out of this, and then I'm going to show you how using triggers slide by slide, you can change the variable. So say we're at 100% on slide one, and then we go to slide two. I can create a trigger that says adjust variable, and the variable we want to adjust is a built-in one. We're gonna scroll down until we see player background audio volume. And then we're going to set player background audio volume to a value of 50% when the timeline starts. Then click OK. So now that trigger is telling us that slide one is 100% volume. And then when we get to slide two, when the timeline starts, we're going to uh, be at 50% volume. So those are two quick uh, ways of working with the background uh, player volume. Like I said, the variable um, option is probably the easiest if you want the volume to stay consistent across your entire project. 